great question. When you're judging, I often try to think about what I would be trying to do. And this is how I try and help people. So for example, if you are in the younger age group, we have a situation where you've not really performed in this kind of environment before. So you're looking at different things to if you're more established. So I'd be looking at confidence. I'd be looking at practice, practice, preparation. So I heard some good advice only today actually to record yourself, make notes about yourself. This is good. You need your technical skill as good as it can be, but that becomes a core basic. What you then need to add to that is how you communicate that technical skill. I think that if you're young, perhaps concentrate on how you communicate, how you can use the stage. As you become a little bit older, try and channel in all that technical ability. Song choice, that applies across the ranges. Song choice is good. It's hugely, you're going to choose a style which suits your voice, which suits your range, which suits your tone. And that's just what you can hear. Now what you can see is a package, obviously. So yes, we're looking at, take advice, frankly. You're going to be competing with a lot of people who haven't taken advice. But it's all, it has to start with the style and then it starts with the advice that you take to achieve the style. Now there's always songwriters for people who are good, it's about conveying it. I mean if you are a good songwriter, fine, of course, then let's do this. But the danger is, is that you are a good performer. You perform a piece which is close to your heart and you think it's the most beautiful thing and it doesn't actually do you any good. I would be concentrating on songs which are good for you, but if you do write songs that's great, we have to encourage that of course. I think a combination of all of those things I think you have to accept setbacks. I think you have to work hard on, I'm going to say it again, you have to have technical foundation first. There are some acts you can rely on without it, but they're few and far between. You have to know what you're doing, and then you need to take advice, in my opinion. You can take advice from people who are professional or not. It's about market research. Do people like what they hear? I would be very, very interested to know beforehand when I'm speaking again to people who are going through this process, quite what research they've done. The last place you want to perform for the first time your song is in front of 500 people. I became more of an academic musically way back because it gave me security, frankly. That's where it started from. I have a school, I, we have drums, guitars, bass, we have a pretty full range of instruments we teach. And within that, it quickly became apparent that I needed to use a syllabus. I went for the rock and pop rock school option, which is a, a very genuine path of how it all occurred and became so familiar with it and liked it so much that I asked to join the panel and after two years of trying I did. So being an examiner in an academic sense is the very similar principle to judging for open mic because you're working to criteria but one is about how frankly you can be commercial and saleable and the other one is about how you can achieve academic targets and sometimes they overlap but not always. Rock School is an exam board. It's an international exam board. It's a rock and pop biased exam board. So it's an alternative to perhaps more established classical, um, the, the IABRSMs, the Trinities. That's great if that's the field of music you want to study in. But what we specialize in, as I say, is it's called Rock School. The style range is anything which is modern, contemporary, jazz, blues, funk, metal. So it, it has more option, I feel. And the musical outcomes are still the same, but it's fresh and modern. But we, we operate across the world, and as far as we're aware, we're the biggest in Europe, and it's a, just a great place to come and study at the right level and achieve some grades in the process. Take criticism, always, never give up, self-belief, practice, technical skill, take advice whenever you can from whoever you can, find a style that works, good luck. Open Mic UK. Are you ready? Open Mic UK. Are you ready? I said, are you ready? This is Open Mic UK.